Back today is Juneteenth, and while it hasn't been a federal holiday for long, the day has been celebrated for more than a century. KIUN's Natalie Gutierrez tells us more of the history behind this day. It's been three years since President Joe Biden declared Juneteenth a federal holiday. For business owner Daryl Chote, owner of Deja Blue Soul Food Restaurant in Seaside, he says the meaning behind Juneteenth is important in history. Consider the end of slavery, and um, that's where we're at now of, of trying to keep moving forward. Juneteenth marks the country's second Independence Day. June 19th, 1865 is the day when slaves in Galveston, Texas learned of their freedom for the first time. The National Museum of African American History and Culture say that this came two years after the signing of the Emancipation Proclamation. It's 1865. We have made some strides, but we still have more to go. As you look at the climate these days, it seems like we're not progressing. We may be digressing rather than progressing. We need to be more progressive. And for people who live in Seaside, they tell me what Juneteenth means to them. In the color I am and the stuff that uh, we our, our people went through, so that's important. You know, we made it this far. Business owner Zara Chote says it was important for him to integrate African-American culture into his business. Important to try to keep some of the culture and some of the uh, heritage information out there. And Seaside, Natalie Gutierrez, Kiowa, News Channel 46. Thank you to Natalie for her report and talking to individuals out there at Deja Blue. Seaside and Santa Cruz, they held their Juneteenth celebrations this past weekend and happening this Saturday. Salinas is going to host their fourth annual Juneteenth celebration at Hartnell College's main campus.